Ah, this finally looks official. I mean, for the very first time in modern day reality show, we're seeing two girlfriends go he beats without any problems. Ah, guess what? You definitely have some superpowers. We all need to learn. <laughs> Hey, guess one is the G in that house, eh? This is the king. Like, guys, seriously, guess one officially has two solid girlfriends who are not even fighting for his attention, are willing to be loved by him, willing to share their love by, like, ugh, I'm like, I'm like, hey, I haven't seen this type of love before, but whatever spell guess one has on this two ladies, Yuli and Tato, I think that spell... Is a spell that works for a lot of ladies out there. Mm -mm. This guy really has a magic hand. <laughs> and not just a magic hand, he has a magic strategy, if you ask me. Mm. Because, I mean, I've been thinking about it. If it were somebody else, there would have been some kind of fight. But you guys, those two ladies, busy taking turns, like treating the king like how the king should be treated. I, you guys need to all go and learn something from Gashon. <laughs> oh my god. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and this is another review episode of the Big Brother and Zanzi Show. If you're new to the channel and you like reality shows, please, right now, click on the red subscribe button so that you become a part of this community. And of course, join the conversation. I mean, I'm so big on conversation. And guys, don't forget to turn on post notification bell so that you always get a lot of my video every time I share new ones um i always give regular updates on what's happening in the big brother show it's been hard it's been tough but you know we gotta do what we gotta do so guys it was literally a night of revelation i mean every single night the ladder keeps climbing higher we get to keep seeing the other side the hidden side that we had not seen earlier so we actually saw I mean, that, um, but um, we actually, okay, guys, okay, let me just talk about it and then I'll tell you how it all started right from the beginning. You guys know I love to flow with the conversation. I like to just take you back, bring you forward and just give you the main highlights of why the things that are happening is actually happening. So if there's anything I, I take pride in, in the show, it's the fact that I actually like make sure that I put all this piece of information we get to watch and just make create like a statement with them. So literally guys, if you've been following this channel, you guys know I've been begging Tato in my heart of my heart to agree to a relationship with um with Dash One because guys Dash One is literally one of the most sexy should I use sexiest? I mean he's one of the most sexiest male housemates in that house and the funny part is I've, I've been like why is why are the ladies not running around him why are the ladies not fighting for me i mean i thought Tabi was going to be that girl i thought tato was going to be that girl but it literally looks like the guy playfully like i don't know all the ladies just like just kept passing through him passing away going away and just never have giving him a second look so i'm literally very excited that tato is suddenly realizing and it's not as if it's tato that realized that something uh, might be happening. It actually happened this In way. In my mind, that wasn't saying no to the thing that pisses me off, and it was the exact words that you said to me. So Tato is actually saying that Gash has been using the same lines for her and Yuli, and that got her confused and felt like he was just playing the game. So let's continue. Like I said, I don't want to confuse you, number one. I'm sorry that I did. I want to try something with this, but that relationship very different. So guys, um, you guys remember the last video I did about Tato and Yuli giving, um, receiving a massage from Gashwan. You know, after that there was this conversation between um, Yuli and Gashwan. Guys, Yuli and Gashwan are like besties in the house. Like personally, I've always said they're, whatever they're doing is a fake thing because I know that the uh, relationship might come out of things like that. But I've personally seen Tato as that woman that Gashon literally liked, like just originally liked in the show. So, I mean, the Yuli thing has just been my companion, my gist mate, and all that kind of thing. So, Yuli had actually confronted Gashon over the fact that I think, I think, I think 
that will like you and i think maybe there's an atom of jealousy somewhere now um before you really started getting very close to gashua in terms of coming to the bed i mean they've been talking about they've not been that close i mean before she did that it was actually Tato that actually hinted you did that hmm, this one everything that gashua is telling me he's telling you um He's a nice guy and all that. So I think um, Tato was the person who put the idea that Gashon might be her guy. So, and then Yuli had to just start being, releasing herself and being free around Gashon um, to the extent of coming to bed with him. I'm not sure anything has happened under that shit. I'm not sure anything will happen under that shit. Gashon is one of the most intentional housemates there. He's not willing to mess up on TV. He has said that multiple times. So I kind of know that the only thing is just play, play, play. And Yuli, guys, is very, very... Everybody knows Yuli is a very playful person. Like, she's very playful. She's, she has a kind heart. I think I call her the most prettiest housemate in that house, female housemate, because I really love her energy and her personality. Yes, I know she has some chit chit chat chatty moments, but she always makes realistic conversations in the house. So, guys, after um, Tato actually spoke to Yuli about um, Gashwan, you know, Yuli started getting close to Gashwan on the next level. And then, guys, after the massage, Yuli was now the person who went to Gashwan and said, you know, I think Tato likes you and all that. And then Gashwan was like, I think she's beginning to like me too. And, you know, it was more like, okay, because they've had this conversation, I was actually expecting an action. I was actually expecting Gashwan to do something about it because he's literally this type of person who has a conversation with somebody or something and then goes ahead to confront that thing. Like, this guy, fear does not apply in his manual at all. He's just a very straightforward person and sometimes very confrontational but on a very subtle manner um he doesn't do it very harshly so you guys um we actually saw gashon i mean talk to tato like you know you've always been the girl i liked the first week i came to this house i wanted to connect with you like you guys can you remember there's this um video tato was dancing and gashi just carried her like ah that was when i started fantasizing over their love but unfortunately tato was so into tools that does not even have a time i was just playing with her emotions like i don't know why tato is still with that guy like she should just blank tools for all i care so i mean i like the fact that tattoo is not opening her mind because from different things i mean there's been so much hints that this guy likes tattoo i mean from the carrying on that day to the time they were spent on this their funny chair this uh what's they call that chair the swinging chair and you know gashon was actually play, paying compliments to you and um, to tattoo that like, your skin is shiny more than everybody like and Tato wasn't getting it. I was like, what? Are you okay, girlfriend? How come you're not getting this guy? He's paying... He's, you're the only person he literally just pays compliments to and you're not even getting it. So it was quite nice to see that fact that, okay, you know what? Um, Tato is going to look at it the other way. Like, okay, I might really need to sit, settle down and have a relationship with this guy. Um, because if you look at it from all indication, it looks like Tato is like a relationship person. And guys, don't forget that Yuli and Tato have been besties. They don't gossip. They have meaningful conversations. That's what I would say. And I remember there was a time when Tato was having a conversation with um, Gashon and said that most of our relationships are the ones that, the best of our relationships are the ones that she was, she didn't see coming. And guys, she literally didn't see this one coming. So I think they make a good couple. Guys, what do you think about Gashon and Tato? For me, I think they look cute. I've been looking forward to this relationship like forever i'm happy it's here i'm happy it's going to stick i think these two people are very intentional i think if they now bring in their strategy and the game on ah they're going to prepare other couples mm -mm, i'm not even going to lie about that um it's just that they don't will not do the cutting and the kissing but if they can't do that ah gosh 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 the show will be hot mm, trust me <laughs> guys what do you have to say about the gash one and the tattoo ship i saw it coming i love the fact that it's here for me i think the ship is silly mm -hmm. what do you have to say let me know in the comment section you guys you really don't want to miss out from any of my future videos just subscribe stay here let me know your thoughts share your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to check my other videos because there's so much content in this channel <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, guys. I I almost forgot to tell you guys about this conversation that happened between Norman and Yudi. Guys, hey, you see this Norman, eh? Aye. <laughs> the guy just suddenly, I think he just suddenly, he's been awoke. What am I speaking? Yes, I woke. I think it's correct. Awake. Oh, damn, English. <laughs> so, that Norman has been one of those people that has been very, you know, awoke. 
awake <laughs> in the Big Brother show. He's very strategic. You guys remember the first week that he was off for nomination? That was the week he played the stunt about the Sister Mara thing. Me, I feel it was a stunt. Uh huh. It was just a pure stunt because he knew he wanted to canvas for people to like him and vote. So he's. Well, I just find it very funny. But you guys know Norman and Yuli actually have their deep conversations about other people in the house like they are the inner 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 gossip circle again away from the other gossip circles and so we actually heard um you know uh what's his name again no man tell um gosh um sorry yuli that i think tools has a big strategy on blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, why would Tools not have a big strategy? And I think one of the reasons why he's actually saying this is because of how Tools organized himself while he was playing the puzzle. Like, I, it pained me that Tools did not win because he really was very strategic um, on fixing this puzzle. Like, the way he arranged, like, the way he arranged his puzzles before he started, you know, fixing his puzzles. So I think that kind of clicked in a lot of people's minds. Like, no man, like, hey, this guy, mm -mm, he's not playing this house. He knows what he's doing every step of the way. So... I, it's just me looking at Norman like why are you trying to figure everybody out like I mean do you guys come there to come and play everybody's there with a strategy to win 2 million grants <laughs> so I'm not even understanding Norman I think right now Norman is like a tiger in that house he's like a lion in that house he's ready to pounce on anybody that messes up with him whether it's in pool whether it's whatever he's ready to give us raw content and I'm looking I have my special detective eyes on Norman <laughs> for any highlights because guys Norman is literally that guy that has confronting everybody when it came to food crisis he talked about it when it came to alcohol crisis he talked about it i mean right now or waiting for a personality clash that's going to happen and no one will be off of course in the center i'm expecting to see it very soon and i know it's going to come um guys let me know your thoughts on what's going on in the big brother show you guys know i would always come here to give you the full gist just carry along the show even if you're not watching it i hope i'm doing a great job if i am come on throw in some comments it's been really hard work trying to keep like do this shoot those multiple videos every day post it edit it i um, it's been a lot <laughs> but i'm here to do it for you um so you guys stick around uh, make sure you check out my other videos i have a lot of content on this channel you probably want to get to watch them um i'm gonna see you all in the next one for now stay here be here i'll be back with more updates on what's going on in the zanzi mansion bye bye guys <laughs>